Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and today we're going to be talking about something that's been in the news for cryptocurrency for the last little while, and that is the LightPay debit card. Now what LightPay is, is LightPay is going to be a payment processor that is going to partner with Visa to allow you to actually pay with Litecoin in the form of a debit card anywhere that Visa debit cards are accepted. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how this technology works, the way that you can actually do this, how it actually makes... Uh, how it actually makes sense for the retailer because it reduces the risk for the retailer because they get their money in the form of any fiat currency that they want. And it actually lowers the fee on the, t on the side of the retailer. So this is really going to bring a lot of adoption for Litecoin. It's going to bring a lot of adoption for Litecoin. It's also going to make retailers start to realize, hey, this cryptocurrency thing actually isn't as crazy as people are saying it is. It seems like this thing can actually work. So Litecoin, like I said, it's it was always meant to be an actual medium of exchange. And it has been around the block. Litecoin has been here for a long time. If we go here to the mo to the oldest historical snapshot on CoinMarketCap, April 28, 2013, Litecoin is here. Litecoin was created two years before this. It is the OG altcoin. It has been around the block. And it is definitely the coin to pick for this because it has some of the fastest block times and it has some of the cheapest fees of any cryptocurrency right now. There are other technologies that have tried to do this in the past. There's something called BitPay. And down here at 99, there's a coin called uh, 10X that tried to do this also. And they didn't really succeed all that much. But BitPay and 10X, they had their own problems, and they're not really being widely adopted. But I think LightPay could change that. So let's get into a scenario for where you would use LightPay. So let's say you walk into your favorite retailer. Let's say it's uh, Walmart. So you walk into Walmart, and you go out, you, you go back somewhere in the aisles, and you say, okay, I want to get my favorite combination of foods. I'm going to pick up some Cheetos, and I'm going to pick up some butter. So you take your Cheetos and your butter, and you walk up to the cashier, and you set them on the cash register, and they set, and they or you set them on the conveyor belt that goes up to the cash register, and the cashier looks at you, and they're like, what the hell are these two things doing together? But anyway, I'll ring them up. So she rings them up, and then she says, okay, that'll be twenty three ninety five, please. And you say, twenty three ninety five. okay, whatever. I'll pay with my LightPay debit card. So you pull out your LightPay debit card. You chip it in the little card reader that's already there because, of course, Walmart is going to accept Visa debit cards. So, of course, it'll accept LightPay debit cards because LightPay debit cards are accepted anywhere that Visa debit cards are accepted. So you pay for it, you walk out, and you go and you, you go home, and you be happy with your Cheetos and your butter. And I don't know why you like Cheetos and butter going together, but you do. So you paid for that with your LightPay debit card. That was pretty easy, right? It was just the same way as if you were to use any other debit card. That's kind of the point. It was just as easy. You didn't have to pull out your phone and use a QR code and figure out what the what the key for the... You know what I'm talking about. It was a, It's a lot easier to just chip your card than it is to copy and paste a, a public key, send the Litecoin, type in how much Litecoin, figure out how much Litecoin you're supposed to send. My point is the infrastructure to accept debit cards is already in place in a lot of retailers, whereas the infrastructure to accept the traditional way of sending cryptocurrency payments is not really there in a lot of retailers. And also, by the way, you can use this LightPay debit card online just like any other debit card. It is literally every single use case that you have for a, a traditional Visa debit card, you can use this LightPay Visa debit card in the exact same way. So how does this work? Let's go to the LightPay website here. So they say, getting started with LightPay payments. LightPay will be uh, launched on February 26th, by the way. That is in five days from when I'm recording this video. But basically the way this works is you load your card with fiat currency. We come down here, it says you can turn your Litecoin into dollars and spend anywhere. So you load your you load your uh, LightPay debit card with Litecoin from any wallet you want. You load it with Litecoin, and then when you go to spend that Litecoin, it will exchange that Litecoin into US dollars at a set exchange rate, if I come here to the Docs tab and I go down here to Litecoin exchange rate, currently that exchange rate is $208.01. So you will swipe your, or you will swipe or chip your LightPay debit card, and then you will get, uh, you will send the retailer a certain amount of funds that you converted from Litecoin to the fiat currency that they're accepting. Currently they are accepting a lot of different, uh, fiat, they are accepting many different fiat currencies. They are accepting uh, US dollars, Great British Pounds, uh, the euro and several other crypto or so, several other fiat currencies that are already in place because retailers are going to want to accept an actual fiat currency they're not going to want to accept a cryptocurrency because cryptocurrencies are very very volatile and that's not exactly the most um, conducive to good business practice to accept a currency that has this much volatility so basically the way it works is you load your litecoin on there you swipe your card or you chip or you chip your card it converts the litecoin into us dollars and then those U.S. dollars are given to the retailer as payment. It's pretty simple. That's kind of the whole point. Another thing about LightPay is that they have very low exchange rates. If we come here to, I think it's uh, Accept Litecoin, 
I come here to accept Litecoin, it says credit cards take up to 3% in processing fees on every transaction. Accept Litepay and get direct bank deposits in your own currency for a simple flat 1% settlement charge. So this is actually beneficial to the to the merchant as well because they are going to end up paying less percent they're going to end up paying less of a percent uh, fee if if you end up using a Litepay debit card instead of another debit card. So that's also very nice. It's very simple. The, uh, you pay, your customer chooses to pay with Litecoin during the checkout process, they get an invoice, uh, they pay the Litecoin invoice at a locked in exchange rate, which I showed you just a second ago. Litepay instantly converts the Litecoins, shielding you from any volatility risk, which is what I was talking about just a second ago. So the merchant will actually accept the payout in their own currency, and then you get a direct deposit into your bank account, if you're the retailer, of course, or into however they do their funds. So that's basically all there is to it. It's a very simple system. It's going to be very nice. If you're interested in getting a LightPay debit card, I recommend you coming to their website and you go here to, I believe it's uh, sign up or actually it's, it's card. Oh, well, no, actually it is sign up. So you come here to sign up and you type in your email address and they will email you updates about when this come at, comes out. And when this comes out, there'll be more information about how to get your own. But that's basically all there is to it, guys. If you're interested in getting a LightPay debit card, like I said, come here and sign up. But if you have any questions for me, you can leave those in the comments down below, or you can join our Discord server and come ask me in person. A lot of fun people in the Discord server. We have some uh, interesting conversations in there. So anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.